All right. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to uh, uh, another beautiful, albeit slightly overcast day down here in Five Points, where we are here to celebrate um, the grand opening and the official ribbon cutting. Grand opening was yesterday, but we're here to have the ribbon cutting for our newest business in Five Points, Panner Peat uh, Vintage. My name is Ryan Coleman, Director of Economic Development for the City of Columbia, and I'll uh, line up the introductions uh, for our speakers this morning. Uh, first of all, we'll have Councilman Will Burnham for District 3, followed by Mayor Daniel Rickman. Then we'll turn the microphone over uh, to Heather McDonald, Executive Director of Five Points Association. And then finally, our featured guest of honor today, Katie Roberts, uh, owner of Painter Peak Vintage. Thank you. Councilman Bernie, it's all yours. How about it? How's everybody doing today? Staying warm, I hope. Fantastic. We are chipping away at a block that used to not have a lot of traffic, pedestrian traffic here. Just take a look around from Vento, Swift, All Good Books. Let's do some marketing and fill this up with a restaurant upstairs, right everybody? Wouldn't that be great? Yeah. It's great creating a destination uh, in this little corner of Five Points and, and Katie and, and your husband and, and the team here, we're so excited about uh, the risk, the venture you are taking, we are here to help you uh, foster and incubate this small business. That is our goal here at the City of Columbia. Uh, Emil de Feliz, Soda City has so many wonderful vendors and it's great to see another success story uh, moving on to a brick and mortar shop. So we, we know you're going to stay busy. You're emptying out the storage units of all that wonderful, wonderful clothing and uh, I wish you much success. So we are just uh, so excited. I want to say a quick thanks to Ryan Coleman and his team, um, Greg Williams, the catch-all for the city when it comes to business. I hope you all have his cell phone number. You call him whenever you need him. Uh, again, couldn't do this, couldn't foster small business and growth without you guys and your team. So uh, with that, uh, we are open, and I want to uh, call up Mayor Rickman, who is so supportive of, of all these initiatives. Uh, that we are doing here to, to, to be open and grow business in five points. Mr. Mayor. Good morning, everybody. Uh, you know, unfortunately, it's not the warmest day, but it is a great day because here we are with another small business to open up. And as you know, Columbia's backbone is small businesses. It's so exciting to have have another shop, another retail shop down here in Five Points. And so excited for you, Katie. I, I know you're excited. It sounds like y'all had a great opening yesterday. And we hope that the message gets out that people are down here. They're buying a book. They're getting some coffee. They're getting a sweatshirt next door. And then they're coming to get their groove on right here uh, with some great outfits and some great opportunities. But excited for you, and I hope that everything we can do to support you uh, to continue to grow. But this is what we've been hoping for in Five Points, is really building it up with small businesses that are a real reflection of our community. So congratulations. Executive Director of Five Points Association. On behalf of the Five Points Association, we want to welcome you to the neighborhood. And like Councilman Brennan just said, it's been an exciting few weeks in this little corner of our neighborhood. And this is just one more addition that I personally am excited about. I'm being a huge vintage lover. I told Katie I'm probably going to have to get a raise um, at this point to be able to come over here and shop so much. But again, on behalf of all of us, we are so excited to have you here and wish you all the best. I'm Katie. <laughs> um, I mainly just wanted to thank a bunch of people who made this happen. Um, and obviously, it was not all me. Um, we just wanted to thank everyone who's ever shopped with me. Oops. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> wanted to thank everyone who's ever shopped with me at Soda City um, or just come by our booth to say, hey, y'all are awesome. Really, the people who've made this happen. Um, all of our friends who helped like move tables or paint the inside of the store, thank you, um, or helped clean. Um, I wanted to thank uh, Emil and everyone at the Soda City Market, because if y'all didn't have that market, this would, again, would not have been possible for us to start our business five years ago. Um, I wanted to thank um, our friend Robin Dial, who's here of Dial Real Estate for helping us navigate the world of commercial real estate when we were looking at the space. Couldn't have done it without him. Um, wanted to thank Margie, my mother-in-law, for helping cleaning with the space. She's amazing. Um, 
I wanted to thank my mom, who unfortunately could not be here today. Um, she's the one who took me thrifting when I was a kid and got me interested in the world of secondhand. So if it wasn't for her, this would not be happening either. Um, I wanted to thank Paul, my father-in-law. He helped my husband, his son David, do all of the wonderful cabinetry and the shelving inside of the space. Like They really just transformed the store into this just amazing looking space. Um, and lastly, most importantly, I wanted to thank my husband, David. He has been my number one supporter these past five years. Just, I could, I don't know. No matter what I say, it's not gonna be enough to like thank him for all the work he's done. And just, I would not be where I am today if he didn't believe in me and support me and believe in taking the risk for doing this business full time. So thank you everyone.